All right, so hope this thing doesn't go too glitchy on us again. Um, but let's look at our first example. So in this topic, we want to look at series and determining whether or not if they will converge or diverge. So the first one is the series of uh, n equals one to infinity of three n squared minus nine over 16 n squared plus 100. So for this one, um, what test would I use? I think the test that's more, uh, that's preferable in this example is that if you notice, um, this is your sequence, right? That's your a n essentially. And one thing that we can do with the sequence is quickly compute its limit, right? Do you know what its limit's gonna be as n goes to infinity? Huh? Yes, yeah, three over 16, that's right. So I'm gonna show that it's three over 16. I'll show the work for it. But I just wanna quickly point out that in this example, we could have quickly figure out what's our, um, what's our uh, limit as n goes to infinity. So what the test that I'm using here is the, the nth term test or the test for divergence. And what the test for divergence states is that um, essentially if the limit as uh, n goes to infinity of your sequence is not equal to zero, then the series diverge, okay? So it says if uh, the limit as n goes to infinity of a n is not equal to zero, then the series of the, that involves a n diverges. So if I write it out as a n e equals three n squared minus nine over a glitchy thing again, uh, uh, we're gonna get. Uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, um, 3n squared minus 9 over 16n squared plus 100. So if you want to show the work and show that it actually is going to go to 3 over 16, uh, what you can do is divide uh, every single term by the highest power. What is the highest power that appears? n squared. So this will give us the limit as n approaches infinity of 3n squared over n squared minus 9 over n squared, all divided by 16n squared over n squared plus 100 over n squared. So the n squares will cancel here. That will just leave you with 3 over 16. Now, 9 over n squared as n approaches infinity, that would approach what? That would approach zero. And 100 over n squared would approach, would also approach zero. So what we have when we compute this limit is three minus zero over 16 minus. So this first example, uh, we, show, we can show now uh, that by the test for divergence, The given series and that will be your final answer. How's that example? Yeah. So if the series is the series is zero, no. If so, that, that's that, that's the one thing about the series test. This this particular series test, it's called the test for divergence. It's not called the test for convergence. There's no such thing as a test for convergence, where uh, if the limit as n approaches infinity of a n is equal to zero, then the series di uh, series will converge. That's not going to be true because think about the harmonic series, right? Just a side 
know. Um, I think I have to start out at one. If I look at this series here, this is what you call the harmonic series, one over n. And what do you know about the harmonic series? Does it converge or diverge? In class, your professor pointed out that this series of uh, uh, diverges. Right, you did like a whole bunch of explanation, reasoning as to why it diverges. I probably can't do it in this video uh, because it'll probably take up like the next 45 minutes to show it. Uh, but in short, this series diverges, it's called a harmonic series. Its limit, if you do the one over n part, that limit is zero, but you can't say that it, it converge. That would be no. So the, I think it's called the contrapositive of this test. Um, you can't say that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a n is equal to zero, then the series converge. That's not true because this, this example that I have here is a concrete counter example to it, okay? In particular, this test is called the test for divergence. So if you wanna show that a series is diverging and you're applying this test, then that's fine, okay? Because again, it's called a test for divergence. Wait, you also call it like the n-term test? Yeah, you could call it the n-term <clears throat> the n -term test as well. So that's going to be just like the series of divergence. That's right. That's right. But if the limit is zero, we have to use another test. That's right. If the limit is equal to zero, then it's inconclusive. Because, again, one over n converge, uh, diverges. All right, let's look at a second example. Um, example number two. So we have um, the series starting from n equals one to infinity of, of three over two n times uh, the square root of n. So to solve this second example here, um, essentially what you need to do is do a bunch of rewrite and then you can apply some tests, okay? Uh, so for us, first thing is I could pull out the three over two, okay? So we have three over two times the series uh, n equals one, one to infinity of one n times square root of n. You can actually multiply this, right? If you think about it, this piece here is the same thing as saying n times n raised to what power? Yeah, square root of n is raised to the power of one half. So if n is raised to the first power, you can add the exponents. If you add the exponents, it'll be n raised to what power? Three over two. So what we have is the series three over two, sorry, three over two times the series n equals one to infinity of one over n to the three half. Now, what does this resemble or look like? This looks like a P series, right? This looks like a P series. So what will be your value of P? That's right. So in this problem, we have that um, P is equal to three over two. Now, three over two, uh, is it bigger than one or less than or equal to one? It's strictly, it's strictly bigger than one. So if P is greater than one, uh, by the P series test, will it converge or diverge? It converges, right? So what we have here is that um, by, by the P series test, The given series um, converges. And again, that's because in one. You can make a note. Um, if P 
is less than or equal to one, um, if it's in that form of um, one over uh, n to the p power, uh, that, that would diverge. I have to stop this video and then make a new one because I don't know why it's glitching like this.